Welcome back to the Moving Forward Podcast. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Let me get straight into this one. Before I get into it, I want to shout out my boy Steve-O from Best I Fly for, best, for blessing me with this drip. I can't even talk. Y'all already see I got the shiesty on. <laughs> he blessed me with this drip, you know what I'm saying? If y'all want to go see all his pieces he got, y'all could go to 1407 Fulton Street, or y'all could go to 2... What's that? Let me see. Hold on, hold on. Uh, that's 289 Ralph. That's the C train of Ralph Ave. And if you want to go to the 1407 Fulton, take the A train straight to Nostrand, walk up about a six minute walk. They don't got what they want on Ralph. Go to the one on Nostrand. I'm out here. Best stop fly. Y'all see it. You know what I mean? Today, we got the guard in here. Great God. What's up, brother? The God of all gods. Everybody else with God in their name, they all frauds. It's today's mathematics. I'm here. I, I, I'm here, God. This is a today's math. Uh, listen, he he he's starting off. Look at he he already you you already geared up, huh? It's today's mathematics. What's the, what's today's God. mathematics? What is today? The th my days have been mixed up. Today the thirteenth. Yeah. Today is the thirteenth. All oh, knowledge, understanding. You know what I'm saying? All born culture. Culture. Yeah, culture so the culture, freedom. the culture of freedom. Yeah, right. man. Freedom. Yeah. Let the world know where you're from, God. So originally, I'm from the Midwest. I'm mm -hmm. from the Midwest. I grew up in uh, Waterloo, Iowa, Des Moines, Iowa, then journeyed to Brownsville. Mm. You understand? 308 Sutter Ave. From Brownsville, I went upstate to Rochester first. My man was getting money in Syracuse. So he was like, my man Shiggy, he called me one day, God. He was like, yo, God, I done made all the money I could make, man. You know what I mean? You can have this thing. I said, oh, word? I said, what's going on up over there? <laughs> he said, yo, son, this shit is $100 a gram over here. I said, oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have no C's, no nothing when I went upstate, son. Like, I, Most I, New York niggas, no city niggas don't. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have no C's. I was like, you know, that's a dream, too, like to be able to go up top. And you ain't got to work the mailbox. You ain't got to right. be on the bench no right. more. You ain't got no right. tutelage. Right. You ain't got to work under nobody. So yeah, I went up to Rochester, got it rocking over there. And then we ended up in Syracuse. And I've been in Syracuse for, I had I had, I had a daughter, my first daughter I had in Rochester. Mm -hmm. Then I had two seeds in uh, Syracuse later on. So it was like, man, you know, I've been there ever since, to be honest with you, just going back and forth. Right. Yeah. You like it out there? I love it out there, man. Everything that I made happen, through music and movies and rap, mm -hmm. I made happen from North Solana. And uh, that's like one of the major blocks in Syracuse. So, you know, live from the 315, man. Big shouts out to Syracuse and everybody in Syracuse, man. That's you know? what's up. Shout yeah. out to them. Yeah. You, be getting to the, is, you be getting into like that geographical beef, like the city and the state niggas. You know how that you shit know that's, go. That's, that's in shit jail. Go. You got, that's listen. what I'm saying. Nah, I don't. How how they taking you out there? Like they taking you like you from out there, or they like ah you. you so let me tell you like what's that. weird, son. It's like when I look at my analytics, right, and my streams and the streams ain't coming from Syracuse, mm -hmm. but let me get on an interview and not talk about the three one five, because it's like yo, you been here twenty years. There's people that really think I'm from there, right? So it's like, but then. You know, if I if I do too much music with the cats in the cues, then my cats in the ville is feeling away. <laughs> like, oh, bro, you ain't come out here and do no video. Ah, rah, rah. It'd right, be, it'd be right, crazy, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I just signed my first artist from the Ville, K Dot, man, okay. the hood's favorite, man. Shout out to K Dot. Why you ain't bring it to the play, to the motherfucking couch? Man, I, I pose a bro. I remember <laughs> he listen. He's a star. Like he different. So he gonna be on the couch. He going you I, you gonna definitely want him That's on the couch. Fact. Yeah, That's yeah, a yeah, fact, yeah, 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 yeah. You gonna want him on the interview? Yeah. We was talking about being God and supreme mathematics, right? Right. Right. How how important is that to still be in to still put that in your music? So for me, it's very important, and for me, it's important, God, because when I was coming up listening to them records and 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 and, and even Cool G Rap and even even uh, Rock Kim, mm -hmm. when they was throwing those darts, once I knew and understand when when Rock Kim said, I tell you who you are and why you're here. Take it in stride because it might take a year. <laughs> you know, it was certain things that they were saying and certain, you know, 
Once you know the knowledge and you got knowledge yourself, you understand. Understand it. Right. right. Now you can understand what they really talking about in them mm -hmm. records. And now you get a different glory. It's like the Quran. Like, if you if you know the Quran, but you need to know it in Arabic because no the gift is in Arabic. That's right. So once I once I once I learned that. And I said, oh, oh, that's what, what he, when, when Method Man is talking about the, you know, prodigy, the God with the God you now pulling the caper. That's, you know, I understood that. I understood that. The so, God you now, that's right. gun. That's the, that's, the, that's the gun. Uh -huh. So, you know, that just make it more ill for me. So it's like, if I could bring, knowledge yourself changed my life, first of all. No doubt. Mine that, too. That, that really, having knowledge yourself changed my life. It changed my it's it, it shaped in my being and my aura and my everyday life. I was striving for perfection. Mm -hmm. So it was certain things that I wanted to do on the streets. And I was like, damn, I would go back to the degrees and I say, listen, man, that ain't gonna work. Or I don't need to do that. I need to, I need to do the knowledge, or I need to go ask one of the older guards. You know, when we was coming up, we wasn't scared to, to get tutelage from the older guards. I got a son that's 18, he don't like nobody over 22. He don't, he don't want to hear nothing. If you over 22, you too old to right. talk to him. Right. He don't want to hear it. Right. Me, I was the opposite. So, you know, having knowledge yourself and even having that information readily available, you know what I'm saying? Through my uncle Atiba and everybody at the, the Allah School in Medina. No doubt. It was like, nah, like, it just, it just, it, it may, it's, I still feel beautiful when I'm building. No doubt, because I, I got my, I got my lessons when I was like 13. Right. Probably a little younger than that. Right. I got my lessons from my uncle. Rest yeah. in peace, Lord C. Okay. You know what I mean? And from there, we just was building and building and building. We kept building. We still building. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the, and, and the, the mathematics was all in the music, but then they took it out. Right. And this is why you got artists like Little Uzi talking about Satan. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's what's crazy because... Now they took the they took the jewels out the music the right. mathematics and now they want to worship the right. devil right you know what right. I'm saying and that's that's our duty man our duty is to civilize the uncivilized mm -hmm. so if I could change one young God you understand mm -hmm. if I could tell one young God listen God like do it like this you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. learn this even if you don't even get your let's say I never give you an attribute you never get knowledge yourself but you can. Just take these, take these jewels and, and, and swallow them and shit right. out gold, God. Right. Because listen, once you know and understand certain things, then life is a lot easier. You you analyze life differently mm -hmm. when you when you got your true knowledge yourself. Mm -hmm. So for mm -hmm. me, it's very important to implement that in the in the lyrics because if they say, "Oh, I'm fire," Todd, the great God is on fire. So now that means I got a little podium. That's what I've been reaching for. It's those that you can't be held accountable for for that and what you don't know. Exactly. But if you if you know better and you don't do what you're supposed to do, that's, when that's punishable by death. That's when you're gonna be punished. Now, so now it's like, okay, I can't get on the podium and not give them what I'm supposed to give them. I gotta give them that. Like, let me let me give you an example. Like, remember when Nas and Jay was going at it, right? Right. And he asked Nas, "What you trying to kick knowledge?" That's a garbage. Now listen. We loved Ho, but imagine if Ho would have made, I know I can't be what I want to be. Because he said, if you drive a 4.0, you ain't nothing. And and, then, and we stopped driving him. He said, if you putting up a if you put a button up on, and everybody put a button up on. So that means you got real power, God. So that means you have that means your duty is to let it trickle down. That's when you're supposed to do it. So now I feel like I'm getting a voice and I got an audience. So I would, I, of course, I got to give them some knowledge. So of course, I want them to be able to dig in them lyrics and say, oh, what does someone's talking about? Oh, 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 that's what he was talking about. You but understand? But the thing about Hove is, Hove is the, he a God too. Yeah. The, the Hover. Right. He be, and he be spitting his lessons too. Yeah. You just gotta hear him. You right. gotta listen right. to it. Right. He be dropping his jewels. You know right. what I'm saying? Now he definitely, he'll drop the jewels. You know, but it's just like, yeah, man, when you got it, even with the young guys, like, like you know, it's certain cats that, that really got the youth. And whatever they say, go. Imagine if they said, nah, it's, it's cool. Like they telling them to, to, to pack the 30 and don't leave home without the, without the swammy. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. now imagine if they told them something else. Yes, sir. And, <laughs> and, and that'd be a different topic. <laughs> right, you know? Is um let's talk about let's talk about snow day real quick. Okay. Dope art cover. 
You yeah. got this. You got the razor blade for the shovel. <laughs> That's crazy. Who, who thought of that? Shout out my man Travis Chapman. He thought of that, and then my man Moto brought it to my attention. Mm -hmm. So my man Moto, he he he, my Native American God brother. You know. So everybody, my whole squad is called the God Squad. So all of us is God brothers. You my God brother now. Peace. So. Peace. So yeah, man, my god brother Moto, he was like, I was getting ready to turn my EP in mm -hmm. with a different cover. He sent me that cover the night before. And now people saying that's the ill. I done heard people like saying like, no, nah, son, that 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 cover is different. I brought one for you too, man. You know? First, yeah, yeah. I, I, thank you. Yes. Because that's definitely a collectible. Yes. I'm I not opening it. it. I'm keeping it. Copy. Where where is that? When I when I played Snow Day, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, shout out to your manager, Sal, too. Yeah, absolutely. He reached out. Mm -hmm. I did my homework on you. Okay. I put in Snow Day. I heard the Nas joint, first joint. The instrumental, you know, Nas used that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, this is crazy. Right. Then I got the traffic on. Uh, ooh, mm, woo. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, it felt like I was about to catch an intent. <laughs> I thought I was going to catch an intent, bro. Yeah. Your music, you could vit, you could, you could actually see it. Right. This shit is dope, bro. Nah, I appreciate this it. This shit dog. is dope. Is that your debut to um to Pimpire? So that I put that out on my own last year. Mm. The debut for Pimpire, shout out Rock Marcy, that's going to be the God Brothers EP. That ain't dropped yet. That ain't dropped yet. Oh, we working on that bro. now. We we crazy. working on that now. So I drop I dropped Snow Day solely on, you know, on my own strength. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, shout out Rock, man. He been No he, help or nothing. Nah, nah, -uh, no, no nothing. You know, just just the 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 help of the God brothers and people saying, yo, put the music out. Like, Hell Rel, to be honest with you, shout out to Hell Rel. He was like, called me one day and asked me, was I scared to be successful? Because he know I did mad. I, like last year, in 2022, I probably did like 19 features, 17 features. I was doing features crazy. And he called me and was like, yo, son, like, you you, you scared? Like, we want to hear you do this shit by yourself, son. We want to hear what you got to say. And um, yeah, man. So I rushed it. I was gonna put that album out this year. That was gonna be my 2020, that was gonna be my January drop. Okay. Was gonna be Snow Day. And when he called me and told me that he didn't put the jumper cables on my man, lit me up. <laughs> like, nah, I said, oh, all right, oh, word. Right. Cause I had the records already lined up, the records was already done. So I'm like, nah, let me put the records out, man. Let me, let me go ahead and put it out. And I'm glad I did, man. It caught the attention of some of the greats and, you know, the accolades and everything that I got that came with that been beautiful. You know how did mean? you how did your music catch the air of Rock Marciano? Uh Ito. Mm -hmm. Ito from Rochester. So me and Ito was on a video shoot, right? And I know he had a relationship with Rock. You know, he 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 legendary for it, it upstate for for putting that thing down, you know, mm -hmm. that thing that we love, the lyrics. So uh I called Son and we was doing a music video together. While I'm on the set, I tell him, like, yo, God, like, I know you fuck with rock, right? Like, you know, like, I need one of them records. Mm -hmm. He did what I would do, mm -hmm. which is pull the phone out and call son right then and there. Right. He didn't give me the industry jargon of, oh, I got you, and then it never happened. Now I want to go on your dental plan. He like, nah, son, I'm about to do that right now. He called right there. Rock answered the phone, and he was like, nah, I want you to hear your great God, da 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 right? So Rock was like, yo, send me something. You know what I mean? We got on the phone. He like, yo, just send me something. I sent him some records that, was, that wasn't out. And he hit me back. He like, yo, send me a couple more records. So I sent him a couple more records. So then he hit me back. He like, nah, God, you different. Like, like hold on, man. Like, it's a, I could tell the difference when somebody is embellishing and somebody that really did that thing. He said, the minute details. Yeah. He said, the minute details that you implementing in them records. Tell. He said, nah, son, that's different. Send me a couple more. So then I sent him a couple more. He like, yo, bro, how long you been rhyming? I said, you, you know, I've been rhyming like a year and a half. <laughs> he like, nah, son. So, you know, I kept it real with him. Said, man, I've been doing this for a long time, God. Right. 
And, you know, ever since then, man, it been a real genuine love with Rock. He started throwing me in his story and, you know, introducing me. I'm flying out to go to different shows. He introducing me to key players in the game. So, you know, when you get that type of respect and love from somebody that's literally a legend in this thing of ours, then, you know, you know, you know how that go. When, 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 when the God deal with equality with you, that's that's rare. So You're we ready. cherish that. You're ready. We cherish You're that. Ready. We taking that to the, heart. to the heart. That could never, that bond could never be broken. At all. That could never be severed. That could never be, you know what I'm saying? We would never act like when I speak about the God, I'm talking about him in the sincerity. highest of regard and sincerity. Mm -hmm. Because I know and understand that people don't do what he did. And well, I see from the show. Let's talk about that show real quick before yeah. I get into my. Okay. That show was amazing, right? Mm -hmm. When I got there, everybody had on these masks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, the fuck going on in here? Right. Right? I seen a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You might have not seen it because you was on stage and you was backstage doing your thing, connecting, doing what you needed mm -hmm. to do. I was in the crowd. Right. I seen what was going on, mm -hmm. and I heard people, when you came out on stage, they was like, oh, there go the great one right there. Mm -hmm. So you have a fan base. You have a following. Right. Right? right. Yeah. Was you nervous doing that show, or was, or did Rock, did he take you out on tours and shows with him? How so I have, so, so mind you, I, I've been on a few different shows with Rock, but I never performed. I was there as a student. I was there being gracious and saying, I'm, up the knowledge. I'm just doing the knowledge and, 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 and being gracious and watching the big, and watching the bro do what he do, illustrious level. You understand? Like like level seven shit, God flow. Mm -hmm. And I'm watching the way he, he, he you know, maneuvering. Yeah. So I'm in school. Master of ceremony is crowd, moving the crowd. That's right. So. At that point, when you asked me, was I nervous? Of course I'm nervous because I feel like this is the great one. You understand? And this is my moment. I've been practicing, you know, for this show, and I've been wait I've been practicing for this time for a long time, God. Indeed. I've been like literally, it's been a long time. I've been waiting for somebody. Indeed. I never did this. This this ain't financial gain for me. I've been financially okay my whole life. Mm -hmm. So, you know. But now to be financially stable without having the foolery, I hum did he laugh. Legal, the legal money. Yeah, man. The but I was money. nervous though. I ain't gonna lie. Of course. That was your first show? No, that wasn't my first. That was but my that was your big That was my first time performing that record right, ever. Right. So I, I chose that record 1212s produced by Whip Beats because um it's it's on Sirius Radio eight times a day. Shout out to Sirius, uh, to, to, to Ron Mills at Sirius XM. Shout out to PR Dean. And then Paul Rosenberg, the big homie, got sent the music. He got somebody sent him the Snow Day EP, and he personally said, let's put Great God in rotation on Sirius FM. Let's put 1212s in there. That's dope. So I said, you know what? I could do a lot of records, but let me just do that one because the people know it. But that was my first time ever recording, so I was wild nervous. My daughter was there. My daughter's uh, birthday this month, she's about to be 16. She never seen Pops perform. So she was there. I got Rock there. I got all, you know, everybody. You everybody know, it's, it's legends in the building. Conway, Von Pole. Conway was in there. Lord Jamar was in there. You it know what I'm crazy. saying? It Everybody was, was, was in there. It was crazy. It was you know, crazy. real, 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 real dark, dark throws was in there. Rome Streets, Bub Styles. You know, it was some real dark throwers in there. So of crazy. course, that's all I ever wanted was to get the good ear of my peers. That's yeah. all. Like this ain't never been about no money. That's why the music sound the way it do. When it's for the money, you get a different feel. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was nervous, man. And, and but I felt like I, I, I did good. I watched. I've been watching the tape. You right, understand? Right. Now, <laughs> you know, seeing seeing the crowd that Rock brought out. Yes. And you signing under an artist. Yeah. Could be tricky. Right. What I mean by tricky is, and you probably already know, when you sign to an artist that's still doing music. Right. I seen in the interview that Meth said. He said that it could be, you know, that artist might not get the attention that he properly might deserve. Right. How do you still focus on making your music and how do y'all communicate with each other as in when you about to do a project and how you release your music 
being that Rock is still lit and he's still doing shows. So with Rock, so we look like it's really a trust factor. I looked at it like I can't lose, God. You understand? The cosign is all that you that, that I felt like I needed. And then just the way that he dealt with me on a genuine basis. And I know I'm not lazy. So I know that all I need is for him to say, watch him. And that's what he's been telling everybody. Great God, watch him. He the one. So I feel like that I just had to put it in, in, in the hands of a law and say, listen, man, you know, I, I feel like that I'm a great judge of character. And, and his character is flawless. So, you know, he gonna do what he gotta do. But more importantly, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. You can't just sit there and be lazy and watch nah, him. Uh -uh. You gotta do what you got. You still gotta make, shake and bake out that's here. That's right, that's right. Still gotta shake and bake Still out gotta here. shake and bake, but I, you know, so, you know, we're gonna be each other crutches, man. And and, and the big thing with Rock Marcy is, is that when we, when we discussed what we was gonna do from the beginning, we both said the same thing at the same time. We said to each other, yeah, yo, God, let's do it. Like, nah, we go, it's gonna be a beautiful thing. And I ain't got no ego. We said it at the same, simultaneously. Like we were Siamese twin. Ego so once I know that he don't have no ego involved and I don't have no ego involved, that means we could only win. It's a W. It's a W. Can't nobody mess with me, knowledge, and rap on, 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 no, on no record like that. It's and, crazy. And I was about to say that. Are you the newest member of Pimpire? I signed my deal last night in the, in the studio with Primo, Rock Marcy, Hawks from Joe Button Podcast, and you know, my god brother Gas was there, my artist uh, K Dot was there, signed the paperwork last night. You are the very first interview that that I did as an artist on Pimpire. Congratulations, brother. I appreciate you, God. Appreciate you. It feel, feel, I mean, it, feel regular, or you don't feel right yet. Um, you still floating. It <laughs> feels, no, 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 no. I ain't gonna lie, it feels amazing. It feel amazing because I know what I'm going to be able to do for, for other people that didn't do nothing for me. You understand? I, now I know I could throw the alley-oop to Hollywood Ferg. Now I know I could throw uh, bands at alley-oop, Sammy Jesus at alley-oop. That's what I'm about. You understand? Because if I put them in position, guess what Guess what? now? They could put somebody they else could put on. Somebody else on and, 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 and we could keep the money in the family. You understand? Now, so how like like you said right? Let's talk about the indie artists uh -huh. and the gatekeeping. Right. Yeah. That, yeah. Let's talk about it. Can gatekeeping stop an indie artist? Because I know it's certain levels that you, as an indie artist, that you go to, and you might hit a wall. Right. Right. And you might run into a gatekeeper that's that's blocking you. Right. How do you go around that uh, as an indie artist? So for the average indie artist, it, it, it's, it, it's difficult. Um, fortunately, I'm not the average indie artist, so a lot, of, a lot of my years spent on this earth, like I said, I got knowledge of self, so I know how to handle people. I know what it feels like to be revered. I know what it feels, it feels like for somebody that, that you look up to to show, show you love, so that's what I do for other people. So I don't really get the blockage, you understand? They want to see me win. People was in my inbox like, yo, they finally gave the right person the ball. <laughs> you understand? That's, that's how they feeling about it. So I'm not even looking and even thinking about the blockage. I dealt with it before. But, you know, for the average indie artist, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to block them anyway because all you got to do is be consistent. That's right. Even if you put out the music consistently and it's trash, you're going to get a fan base. How many trash records you know <laughs> that you hear on the record, that you hear on the radio, and you know them word for word, damn near, because but and you don't even like it's it. It's programmed in your mind. You exactly. Know? But the, you know they say in the radio you got to spend about a hundred thousand to, to, just to get in the program. Right. Right. Now you now now mind you, that's something that that's inevitable. That's something that that you can't really get around. But you don't need that to survive. It depends on where you want. Do you want to live beyond your means? Do you want to eat to live or you want to live to eat? Right, right. So I, I'm not dealing with greed. Somebody I'm not dealing with envy, lust, greed, and hate. Be famous. Right. Just it's, let me get the money. I don't care about the fact. I still go walk in the mall. Yeah. And people who know me and I still could be around people. That's so right. I don't got to cause pandemonium when I'm right. running out to the spot. Right. You know, that, that that's a different rush, man. Like that rush 
It's something like I agree with you. I could do without that, you know? How did you create your fan base? I created my fan base, honestly, just putting out music and just and just making sure that every bar counted. You understand? Meticulously writing these records and making sure that every bar count and making sure that I put out a record every couple, every, every couple weeks I was putting out a new record. Mm. So that's what that's how I built my fan base. And then I really feel like I built my fan base too because I'm personable. Like when somebody tell me that they like my music in the DM, mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna answer them every time. I'm gonna tell them, nah, I appreciate that, God. I'm gonna ask them how they heard the music, and I'm gonna leave them a voice memo. Imagine you hitting Jay Z, and he, and, and then you checking your DM, and it's a voice memo, and he's saying, nah, I appreciate you. <laughs> That's what I do, son. So, and so my, my whole approach is a little different. It's humble. Humility, you know? Definitely, see? So it, it's like, you know, like I said, I know what it feels like, God. I know what it feels like. I done stood in many a concerts with people, right? Or stood on stage next to people. And I was just wishing that they would say, yo, great God, yo, my man, great God in the building. He, he, he crazy with it. And you know, they don't happen. And, nah, it don't never happen. So, you know, to get that shout out or for somebody to give you that up, it's a beautiful feeling, man. And, and I'm here to give the brothers the up. Where did the mask come from? The mask, well, well, so in what decade? <laughs> hey, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what decade did you start wearing a mask? <laughs> let's let's talk about it. The, the, so so I got rich wearing a mask, man. You know, the mask for me was, you know, I was wearing a mask before COVID. You know, and to be honest with you, you know, like I did a lot of hustling, but that was really my thing too. You know, I might say you the joint, come back get it later on that evening. <laughs> you understand? So, um. The mask for me always been around. When I applied it and put it into the into my career situation, it was more of the concentrate on what's being said and not who's saying it. Just listen to these to these lyrics, you know. Because and, when they say, go ahead, speak, speak up. Speak yeah, up. just 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 listen to the lyrics. Don't worry about the chain, the watch. Like like you see today, I ain't got no rings on, no right. braces, no chain. Right. I got a chain on, but usually I might, you know. Yeah, you be jeweled out. It, it don't, I don't have to do that every time because that's truly not what's important. And then, you know, with the pandemic, everybody got chains. You know, a lot of them hanging in the pawn shop now. I see all type of names <laughs> in the pawn <laughs> shop. A big Kev in the pawn shop, <laughs> little Uwop in the pawn shop. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Everybody shit hanging in the window <laughs> now, <laughs> God. <laughs> it's now quiet. Back to the trenches. Oh, uh, back to the oh, trenches, God. God, let's talk about it, man. Yeah, man, but um, yeah, so. That's what the mask is, and then you know my anonymity is more is important too. Now I could take this joint off, and and still be me and still do what I do, and man. They gonna just know who you are with the mask on. Right. You take it off, they don't know who you are. They don't right? even know who they I am. Don't, man. You don't switch it around. You have never seen my face before. <laughs> you don't know me. me. Oh no. But yeah. you know when you now that you in the hip hop game and uh-huh. you got the mask, people going. Compare you to Ghostface or okay. MF Doom. Uh huh. I'm not mad at neither one of them you legends. <laughs> and like I just had an artist that came on my podcast that go by the name of Billy Ski Mask, but he used the mask as an alter ego. Okay. So he like he he does film direct directing and everything. Okay. okay. But when he do music, he put them. He's known mm-hmm. as Billy Ski Mask. He put this mask on. Okay. But here you go. You got the mask on, twenty four seven. 24-7, in the bed, all that. <laughs> the maid came in, she thought I was about to rob her. I said, just make the bed up, baby. I mean, I, 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 I paid for the room. Chill out. <laughs> nah, but yeah, man, the masters, you know, shout out to every, like, I'm not the first one, you know what I'm saying? You know, definitely not the first one and and, and won't be the last one to do it. Like but I told uh, you, you got a lot of people that's wearing a mask that's representing you, bro. Yeah, now they I saw that at the show, man. You know what I'm saying? That was a beautiful that was beautiful, man. That was What's beautiful. your relationship with Benny the Butcher? So Benny is a uh is a longtime homie of mine, man. Somebody that I that I known for probably a, more than a decade. And uh I just always felt like he was he was dope, man. Like that boy been spitting like that since. So I was like, mind you, I told you I was upstate. So I was I was doing things in in Syracuse, Rochester. You know that whole Syracuse, Rochester, Buffalo line that was pipeline. that whole pipeline. I was running through that pipeline, and uh, he was one of the guys that was definitely in the streets, and that I definitely came across. And I really that's why see see me for me, 
if I believe you, I love you. When it comes to the music, if I if I if I question the music, it's like ah, it's, it's cool, but I don't, it don't resonate the same. Uh, Benny is one of the people that always just been crazy with it, and he very humble. You know what I'm saying? So you know, we always we always whenever we got together, we was always trying to do some records. We always trying to do something. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then once he got hot, you know, he still remained humble. He still reached out like, yo, when you, you gonna be dropping some music? He came to Vegas. You know, right after he had got shot, I had him in the desert for seven hours uh, on video set. And, you know, and I know he ain't letting people handle him like that. Not that I was trying to handle him, but I know that he would have cut that short. His management, City Boy and them, they would have cut that short for anybody else. But they came out for me and Joey Majors and they, you know, we did the video in the hot ass desert. And then we went and shot some scenes at night. So right. the fact that that. Ten years later, he's still humble, and he the guy, and he had the, you know, he reaching the, you know, the 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 the, the heights that he reaching, and he's still, you know, answering his phone and picking up and, and still doing the music. That's that dope. Means a lot. That shows a lot about your character, his character too. Right. Absolutely. Now he got a dope character. He yeah, he, he he a dope individual, man. How did that motivate you, seeing how far he went in the music, being indie, signing to a label? Right. Is that like the same route you you trying to go? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That so watching him do that was very inspirational. Watching him do that made me made me it literally, literally, it made me say, Oh, I'm about to get I'm about to bust my move. <laughs> I'm about to bust my move. I'm okay, Butch. Okay, I see what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And 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 just knowing that that he a block, he he a couple hours away mm -hmm. and, and they 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 cracked the door down, son. They made it to where I don't think lyrics ever went nowhere, but they made it to they put it back on a on a different pedestal, you know? Right. They 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 made it to where people, you know, yeah, so, yeah, man. Me watching Son do what he do, it, it, it was inspiring. It definitely was inspiring. I see, Um, like, you know, you, you signed to Rock and what, is that Alchemist? Yeah, well, so Rock and Alchemist do their thing together. I'm signed to Pimpire, right. yeah, yeah, that's that's Rock. So you got, you got, you, you could get beats from Alchemist, right? Yeah, yeah. Rock, Alchemist said, yo, man, you know, Rock already co-signed it. Whatever you trying to do, you know, just let me know. You got the ingredients right there to bake a cake, baby. Oh, man. So I know it's going to be crazy. Nah, it's going to be different, man. I know it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. We was in the studio last night with Primo. Let's talk about that. So, I was just about to say that. Yeah, I was in the studio with Primo, man. And, and See, like, even that for me was surreal, like, Come on, God! You like got the, you got the heavyweight hip hop man. producers that surrounding man. How could I lose, God? Can't lose with that. Come on, God! Can't like that's that. people, people, people with that type of formula. People begging for that formula. People begging to be in those rooms, you know. So he playing these rackets and rocking there, writing, and I'm just you know soaking it all in, you know. Like damn, bro. like this got to be crazy. You know, this 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 is really about to be crazy. So, man, it's it's a beautiful position to be in, man. Like, and that's why I said too, like like to go back to your question, and when you said like you know being signed to an artist, like I'm signed to an artist, yes, but guess what? We got all the elements. We got all the elements. We got all we got every season man, that we need to 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 win. He, like you sign a tour artist is a, is a up and down depending on the artist. That's right. Like you say, y'all don't right. got no egos. Right. So if you get hot, right, he have passed. You know what I mean, yeah, and vice yeah. versa. Right, right. And it's not always bad signing to artist because now that the artist got more knowledge than you, he could navigate you through the little right. pitfall that right. you might have fell in on your own. That's right. That's you know right. I mean, Pretty much is what he's what he's doing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what he's doing. That's pulling exactly. you off the show, showing you how it's going to go. Right, right. So I respect that, man. Shout out to Rock, man. Yeah, shout out to Rock Marcy, man, for sure, man. Shout out to Rock. So yeah. when is your um next project to be released? I'm thinking April seventh. Oh, soon. You know what I'm saying? Every day on the God Day. You know what I'm saying? Either the seventh or the sixteenth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Either the seventh or the sixteenth. Right. I, I need I need the seventh or I need knowledge equality, which equal right. God. You know what I'm saying? Right. Those is my days. You know how you know Gucci man and then what they got? Uh, what's what's Gucci and them? Uh, they they be beefing about they about well, like when they go they release date. Yeah, he got a special release date. I forgot what it is, but yeah, he oh ten, ten what is it? Uh, 
the ten seventeen. That's what he. That's what he released all his ideas. You want a ten for the seventeen? Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, man. <laughs> I, I need. I need the seventh. I need the seventh. Well, I need the sixteenth. But I'm thinking of April seventh. You know what yeah. I mean? So you're yeah. going. You you going against the match? You know, normally independence artists they drop on certain days. Right. Mainstream artists they they drop on certain days. You going against that? You dropping? Nah, let's just drop because you know we building the fan base and they going. They gonna seek out the good music. They gonna seek out what they want to seek out. They already and then the attention span of the of the listener right now is so short, son. It's like they are when I dropped Snow Day, they wanted a new joint in in, in January. Cause the, you know they they minds. When did you drop Snow Day? When did that? I drop? dropped Snow Day the uh the like I think four days after Christmas. I dropped Snow Day only on greatgod.com. I didn't put it on no... Yeah, you put it on the streaming platform. I didn't platform put it on streaming platform because I really want to test myself. I really want to see who was messing with me and who wasn't. So that way I could gauge it. But so, what was you doing prior to dropping Snow Day? I was, Before I dropped Snow Day, I was doing every feature. Like, they was hitting me for features, 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 features. So I was getting hot on the scene by just doing features with all of the, everybody that was lit. Do you got music without your mask on? No, no, no. I knew once, I knew, I knew once that, once I came and I said, nah, uh-uh, nah, ain't no music out there without it. No, not a video, not an interview, not a nothing. Ain't nothing. Not nothing, no. No mug shot, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> man. Mug shot Shout out my brother Dick Wolf, man. I was on the VI <laughs> with a mask on, man. You, I told him I had to, I told him I went through a surgery and I <laughs> this shit was a compress and man, yeah, they man. That shit? Nah, nah, they didn't, but <laughs> they ain't they ain't believe it, but yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, wow. the mask stays on, man. The mask stays on until they pay me to take it off. That's a fact. They like they got, you know. They got to pay you for that. No, nah, they got to pay me. They got to pay me healthy to take it off, you know. Besides then, who is great God? Where did he come from? That's what they asking, God. Like, what, what, to, what, where did he come from? <laughs> huh? where, where this man come from, man? That's what they want to know. So, the, so your new project going to be called God Brothers. God Brothers. That's yeah. going to be a collective for everybody on. No, that so you dealing with, or that's just nah, the name that's, of the project. Nah, th that's just the name of the project. Okay. That's gonna be a uh, uh, the EP with me and Rock. You know, he on, on featuring on certain songs with each other. You know what okay. I'm saying? But they, he'll be doing the production. Probably get a couple joints from Alchemist, Primo, or somebody, and then that's just that. And we are gonna let that go. You, you know, guys, what I mean? you got main songs that you that you gonna drop off this project, and you and yeah. other features besides Rock. Um, I do. I do got a couple. I got a. I got a new record, a, a Jadakiss record, that that's crazy. I got a Jadakiss record that's crazy. Um, I got a one with Butch with, with Benny, but I don't know how that's gonna go as far as getting it clear. Yeah, because he's label guy. He different. Yeah, he's on a. He you know he 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 he's out of here. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to clear that. But and then the the last one I got, I, it's it's a surprise. But yeah, man. My thing is, I don't, you know, and even with the features, it's like the people that I really want to do features with, I did the features with them already. So, you know what I mean? Right now, it, the ones that I want is probably, you know, I, I might have to prove myself for another year before <laughs> before them joints come. Like, like, like well, who? Who would be your main guy right now that you want to do a feature with right Nas, now? Nas, of course. Let's go. Yeah, man. Yeah, Jungle. Tell, let, the, let the God know, man. So yeah, tell Jungle, man. Tell yeah, Jungle man. to holler. Jungle, man. Yeah, man. Jungle know what it is, man. That's that. Like Nas, J Electronica. I need a J. I would Ooh. love a. I want a J Elect verse. Ooh. Yeah, man. J Electronica. I want boy. a J Electronica verse, man. J. That's who. That's that's. Who, I need one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Besides, he, that, come, he only come out like once every eight years. Yeah. And he only he pop in and pop out and disappear right. again. Yeah, I got a record called J Electronica. Mm. And then the hook is say, you know, my core fans say they waiting for you. I drop my best shit when J Electronica do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what I that's how the hook goes. So, but yeah, I would love a J Elect verse. Yeah. yeah that'd be dope. That'd that would dope. that would be super dope. Besides that, man, you know, I could grab knowledge. I grab uh, you know, the knowledge, the pirate, I grab Rock Marcy, and we we gonna so we, let's we, bring we out. Yeah, we let's gonna we gonna out. tear y'all up. Every time, out. you know. Let's bring out. Do they do they compare y'all to Griselda? I haven't heard it yet. I haven't heard it yet. Um, 
we'll see because it's getting to get real interesting That's this so year. Bad. It's going to get real interesting this year. So, like, it's so new. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you're the first one to even know that the deal was signed. So, it's going to get interesting, though. It, it, I'm sure that the comparison is going to come at some point because that's just what people like the to do. The comparison, and then they're going to try to make y'all battle each yeah, other. That's yeah, yeah, they, they do. Yeah, of course they're they going to do that. They're going to turn y'all against. They're going to yeah. try to turn y'all against. Of course they're going to do a dip set versus G unit. Listen, every time I get on the interview now, they want me to say something bad about Griselda. Well, how come Griselda don't mention you? If you from Syracuse or you live in Syracuse, why when they on their things, we hear you big them up, but why they don't? Listen, man, I don't know. But guess what? The people not asking them about me. I'm not. I'm not on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, if they ask something about me, and and then you know I get slighted, that's different. But he already see. Yeah. He already co-signed you. Right. He gave you a right. co-sign. Nah, the the, the illest. So that was, that was yeah. Crazy. Nah, nah. I love Butch, man. So like, people do that though. Like they like I like I promise you. Every interview, they 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 trying to nudge me to say something, but. Nah, man, them the God brothers. So like, why? Well, I'm not gonna be the reason that the upstate get the we going at each other but then and people doing understand all that. That, that it'll be deeper than just y'all. It'll be motherfuckers really out in the street uh, beefing with each other behind this. That's shit. what's gonna happen. Somebody yeah. in the street gonna get hurt. Somebody. One in the of the henchmen gonna... gonna get hit. Exactly. And then it spill over into like, nah, we ain't doing exactly. that. I'm not doing that with them. Mm-hmm. With, with, with nah. Now whoever else wants some uh. Whoever else want carbon monoxide, right. <laughs> let's go. Because, you know, Griselda kind of had they, that space for a long time. Right, right. They were doing it with the music, yeah, with the art. They was killing it with the merch. Yes, right. And I see that this is where this is going. Right. Now, what's out of genius and shit with that merch? You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I see where this is going with it. Yeah. And it's dope. Yeah. I'm loving the movement. Now, they go, it's it's definitely about the, I, I, I mean, like you said, you know. It's in the air. It's it, it, it it's inevitable that right. somebody is going to say this versus this. Somebody already hit me Who's about better? Who's better, Griselda or, or, or Pimpire? Listen, they did it. They did it. Um, if they did it with Benny amongst his own crew, then why? Of course, we ain't exempt. Now it's gonna be who's better, Griselda or Pimpire? That's it. That's it. Who's really running up state? Right. Then it's gonna be. It's gonna be on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be on. <laughs> oh man. Inshallah, my brothers feel the same way about me as I feel about them. Indeed. You Indeed. know, I like that's all I can say. Just Inshallah, it, they feel you know, the same way about me as I feel about them. Just keep it all positive, brother. Don't yeah. let that shit fuck yeah. with you. Don't let them get to you, man. Right. They will. Right. right. Let the people know where to find you at and all that. Man, man. on all here. social media, man. Great God. G R E A H G A W D. That's on social media, everything. You know, all the social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, you know, OnlyFans, all that, man. Great God. G-R-E-A, the number eight, G-A-W-D. Can I get my brick, bro? Oh, man. You, listen, you you, you got, you drove here? Or I don't want you to, I'm trying if you to get down. pulled I'm over just... on the way home, God, <laughs> listen. I want my brick. Look at the bricks, son. Oh, you got to be careful. Oh, man. You hear? Ooh, be careful ooh. with that. Get this brick, bro. That's the brick. You cut brick. that joint open right there. Shit. You get the hard drive out. That's a little 62. And then here goes something, you know, to put on your refrigerator, bro, God. Nothing, nah, man. Love. Who thought love. of this, man? I thought, I mean, you know, I thought of that. Who thought of this? I thought of that. And they said that's the illest marketing this the group, that they've yo. seen in, in I don't know how long. Since the purple tape. <laughs> yo, that's crazy. I was in Meth Studio last night and they said the same thing. Since the purple tape. Hands told me the same thing last night. He said, yo, God. He said, I wish I would have thought of that. I don't know why they these people wouldn't think of it, but then again, I do the know why. Though, I think the firm did the cigarette box. Mm-hmm. The purple tape, you, and this is this why right, it's right. Wow. The brick though. Wow. The That's brick? that. Did you hear what you just said? Okay. The firm, the purple tape, and then great God. Come on, son. You already know. I appreciate it, God. <laughs> I appreciate it. You nah, man. Know. I was in my crib and I just was like, man, I'm about to. I gotta separate myself. And then you know, certain things when you recollect, and it's just like you know, certain some things are second nature. So mm-hmm. it's like, why wouldn't I put it in the joint? Now I get to run around town with 50 birds in the trunk. Like, I only made 100 of those special. So 
Like and you probably like on your your seventh one. <laughs> Listen, nah. I got the seventh one. Yeah, is that that's the seventh one? Nah, hell no. Nah. That's like <laughs> you the, got number going. Yeah, what is that? The nineties. Okay, so that you got ninety three. I only so you got, got you got seven more left. Then. Yeah, I only got like ten, eleven of them joints left. Ooh. So um, don't open them. I'm not. Don't open them. I could have sold y'all a dummy brick with, like I usually do. <laughs> Word the mother, and I only say that because they, anybody that <laughs> anybody that bought that brick ain't never opened it. No, and you got a vacuum stone. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man, save that. That's gonna be worth about four or five thousand by July. That's crazy, yeah. son. With the last ten, this is what I'm gonna do though. We gonna auction them off for a thousand dollars a piece. I'm gonna put a Rolex in one of them. Ooh. You know, we doing. I'm I'm trying to figure out which jeweler I'm gonna do it with. Um, probably Big John the jeweler. Mm -hmm. Me and Big John probably gonna do it, and um, we gonna put a Rolex in one. That's and the good. last joints is gonna go for a thousand dollars a piece, and you might be able to win you a, a nice Rolex. Nice good Rolex. Yeah. Yeah. See, y'all heard it on moving forward. That's right. I heard it on moving forward, That's baby. Right. right. Yo, I appreciate you for coming to the show. I appreciate, appreciate you for having me, team. God. Yeah, God. Shout out Sal to Aliupa. You already He know, leading man. the league right now. Yeah. Brooklyn, moving forward. My God brother, great God. That's right, God brothers. We out of here. We out.